And then the transition into Dennis. Dennis, you know, Dennis spent 20 years in, and he was a cop in Chicago. So there was an expertise that he brought to the set um, unlike anyone else. And, and a real character. Um, I absolutely adore Dennis Farina. He is the most respectful person you ever meet. And I mean everyone on set he deals with like straight the he would always give the um, the uh what was the biggest guy he would always like you go to his camper and the the teamsters would be hanging out in his camper cuz he didn't give a shit he hung out with everybody he was just a great guy he is a great guy and i think that if anybody ever knew the way Dennis and I talked to each other, they'd, they'd, they'd uh, charge us with sexual harassment. <laughs> He's just a good guy. He's a really good friend. So that was an easy, it, it was an easy transition because also Jerry was doing um, trial by jury. He, you know, he was sick, but he was working. Then he went back to work. And, you know, you have to give that to Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf, no matter what anybody says about Dick Wolf, he's got a heart. He's got a real heart. He's a loyal person. Um, I remember once I talked some shit about something in the press, and he, he walked up to me and he said, uh, thing you did in the press? And I went, yeah. He said, don't do it. And I never did. I never did. Um, he's a good guy. So yeah, the transitions in the company a, as they happened, it, everyone, all the people always brought in their own sort of energy. And so it, you just would acclimate as they did to us. Um, because we had our own rhythms, Ben and I, Jerry and I, Chris and I. Um, and then when they brought the girl in, and I say it that way on purpose, because, you know, there were two cops, two guys, and then they had this lieutenant. They changed the full, to me, they changed the, the face of the show, and, and that didn't work at all. It didn't work at all. Because that's what it was. It was the older cop and the young cop. That, that was the, the interesting uh, sort of uh, texture of the show, is that you had this seasoned guy with this one who's still kind of off the cuff and, and a little unpredictable. Um, and that worked well. It, it worked really well with Ben and Jerry, because I think they really, their relationship was, uh, they were very close. Um, so it worked beautifully for them, and then it changed slightly when uh, when Green comes on, because Green is a gambler, and he has problems like Briscoe does. So that was an interesting thing, and then and then he was black, so br they used that with Briscoe and. And, and Van Buren. So that, that's what was so great about the writers and, and how they even used the characters in telling the story, the, those little side B stories. Uh, what, you do that because he's black? You know, what's up? You know, and they use it. And it, it's, it, that's why the show, I think, was so perfect in that, in that sense because everything that was there, they used.